Hey first graders, so I wanted to teach you about a new website I want you to start using. The name of the website is happynumbers.com and guess what you're going to work on? Numbers! Math! So to get to this website you have to use your phone, a tablet, or a computer. You don't need an app to download, you just need to go onto an internet browser and you're going to type in happynumbers.com and you have to remember this number here, 861247. I'll send it to you so you don't have to uh, remember it or write it down. You'll have it saved. All right, so I'm going to try it out right now. I'm going to go into an internet browser. I'm going to click on Safari. You probably have Google Chrome or something else on your computer or your phone. And I'm going to type in happynumbers.com. I'm going to wait patiently till it opens up. Oh, here it is. It will look the same on your iPhones, any types of phones and tablets. So when you get to this page, you're going to click I'm a student. And then it's going to ask for that special code, 861247. Say it with me, 861247. Press go. And it's going to take you to the list of our class. So all of your names are here. You're going to click on your name. My name's Vanessa. And it says I have a secret password. Now, I'll tell you, your password is your number in class. I am number zero, so I'll put in zero. Just remember, what is the number on your folders and your cubby in class? That's your password. Press go. And we'll save my password so I don't forget it. Oh, let's see what we get to do. I see a little egg. Hmm, it keeps shaking. Let me click it. Ooh. It's shaking again. I wonder if I should click it again. <gasps> Ooh. What is that? Hi, friend. That's Dino. Dino's gonna help you out in space to make a spaceship, but you gotta do some math work with him. Oh, look, he's thinking of his space, his rocket ship. All right, I'm gonna click this where it says the arrow. I'm gonna click. And it says, get ready, stay focused, solve tasks to help Dino assemble his spaceship. Ready to start. Okay. Those are a lot of words. I'm gonna try reading them, but if I get stuck, I can click on the speaker. Welcome, put on your thinking cap and get ready for a math challenge. I'm gonna click it to make sure I read that correctly. Welcome, put on your thinking cap and get ready for a math challenge. Okay, I'm doing this, I'm ready. Which one has exactly nine shoes? Hmm, nine. Oh, this looks like the math talks we do with the dots. All right, I, want, I don't want to count one by one, but I see six and two more. That's eight. That's not exactly nine. I see three, six, nine. <gasps> this one has nine, but I'm going to keep checking all my options. I see, well, this is nine and one more is 10. And if this is 10, two more is 12. This one has exactly nine. So I'm going to press done. Which one belongs in this group? Drag the picture. If you see up here, I got a purple square. That's what I want. That means I finished one task. I have to do all of these to finish the test. I see a cherry, a pear, a banana. These are all fruits, things that you can eat. So it says, which one belongs in this group? Well, I don't eat a spoon. That kind of looks like a tennis ball or a, or a planet. I don't eat that. I can eat oranges. I don't want to eat a hat. I'll click the orange and it says, Hold it and drag it, like we do on Connect Ed. All right, done. Which one has more than eight grapes? More than eight is a number higher than eight. So here I see three plus two more is five, six. That's not more than eight. Here I see, oh, look it. I see the same shape here. Five, six, seven. That's not more than eight. I see three and three more six and one more seven. And then here I see two and three is five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten is more than eight, so I'll click that one. Which one is less than seven? Hmm, which one is less than seven? Smaller than seven. Well, nine is more, eight is more, seven is equal to seven, so I'm going to say six is less than seven. Which one has exactly 37 butterflies? Oh, this rem reminds me of that time we had to count all the stars on the paper and you couldn't move them. Okay, let me think how I want to count them. Let me see. I see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And if each one has 10, I can count by 10s. 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Nope, that's not 37. 
Do you kind of get the idea of what we're doing? Just listen to the question and answer, okay? If you don't want the computer or the phone or the tablet to talk to you anymore, I think you can just Which click Which one this. has exactly 37 butterflies? Maybe not, but um, once you click that, I guess it's going to read the whole thing to you. You can also switch in this corner to Spanish, but I want you to try your best to do this in English because that's the language that we learn math in in class. But remember, if you can say it in English in your head, you can say it in Spanish in your head too. One last thing. This is a test. It's a test on how you're doing with math and what you understand about math. It's okay to have somebody else in the room while you're taking this test, but like our rules in class, no one can help you work on it by yourself. So please don't ask your brothers or sisters or your parents to help you answer because I want to know how you are doing, not how they're doing with math. Okay? So you're going to keep on doing all the tasks until this turns purple. Okay? When you're done, you're going to help Dino make a rocket ship by doing some math tasks, all right? I'm gonna continue taking my test. You don't have to watch me, but what I want you to do is go on to happynumbers.com, put in our class code 861247, and I want you to take this test. Will you take this test for me by Friday? And that way I can see how you're doing with math and I can send you fun games to do on here. Remember, it's free. All you need is a phone, a tablet, or a computer, which all of you already have since you've been doing your work on Class Dojo and Kids A to Z. And go to the website, happynumbers.com. If you need any help, please reach out to me. All right? I'll see you guys later. Bye.